For North Central men's cross country, winning isn't just the expectation, but a formality. With now 47 consecutive CCIW titles, the team works to never get complacent and take that level of consistent excellence for granted. Every year is a new year, every year is a different team. No, no one team is ever going to be exactly the same. So I think every year that we come back in, there's, there's kind of a, a newfound energy with, these diff, with this different group of people. We just we found a lot of energy within one another to kind of just work with each other, knowing that you know we want to be on top of the conference meet. We want to be competing to win the regional championship. And you know then once we get to the national championship, obviously competing for that as well. It was difficult for everyone during COVID, especially with no competitions, trying to teach the younger classmen what the process is. And, we had some success doing that, but it was challenging. And then we were shut down at Halloween. So uh, we made a lot of progress over the summer and this year with, uh, you know, the sophomores are really freshmen competing. So it was a great learning experience for everyone. Returning to a full schedule for the first time since 2019, this year's team tried to draw on those experiences and particularly the lessons learned from that team's seniors who won three consecutive national championships between 2016 and 2018. This season felt in some ways like the beginning of a new era in which a young team experienced a lot of growth in and out of competition. I could tell that like, there was something like within those group of guys in 2019 when they came back where I was like, not that I was intimidated, but I was like, I want to be there someday, you know? And, um, you know, th those guys, uh, they were part of national championship teams, you know, and um, they, they learned and gained a lot of experience from those teams. It was, it was great because last year, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of competition. We just did everything with our own squad, with our own guys. Um, so this year was a, the first couple of meets were a bit of a wake up call because we haven't really been out on a real cross country course for about two years. And then from there on, it was just growth and getting better each and every week. There's a lot of growth that takes place with every person and then collectively as a team. It's not the end result. It's the whole process throughout the season of the development that the, each individual has that collectively make up the team. We don't sit down and say, we're going to try to win the national championships this year. There's a saying we, we have here, it's just, we treat every single race like it's the national meet, you know? We treat every single race like it's the same, um, like the same thing. And you know, that might be kind of maybe tone deaf to the national championship, but but uh, in reality, it's actually just preparing us for, for that national championship. This was the team's first full season not being led by legendary coach Al Carius, who now serves as an assistant after 54 years at the helm. But he continues to be an instrumental presence for new generations of Cardinals runners. I've been by his side for 38 years and he's still here. I mean, he made every morning and afternoon practice and I know he likes to sit back, but. I have him speak to the team every day. He still has a lot of knowledge uh, to, to give them. So it's great that he's still able to contribute in some way. Senior Gabe Pommier was named an All-American and the team advanced to the national championships. But a combination of cold and flu that swept through the team in the season's final weeks saw them finish 12th in the nation, well below what they think they're capable of at full strength. But they're trying to focus on the big picture and the future benefits from this year. It's it's a it's a team of of growth of understanding and of um, of just just really I think I think really just enjoying each other tapping into that into that love you know this season was all about that and I I'm really grateful for this this year's team regardless of the outcome this this year was a really good stepping stone um, into that learning experience that we all that we all gained especially through those regional and national championship meets. Uh, that we can carry into the track season and into next cross country season. Because really at the end of the day, I mean, every race that we've run, every practice we've gone to is an experience. And we've been trying to learn and grow from each and every one of those experiences to take that not only into the next race, but into the rest of our lives.